Hi! Welcome to another video. <clears throat> this is the long awaited sketchbook tour. This sketchbook nearly took two years to fill. Um, <laughs> there was a story about the actual sketchbook and customising it. Um, there's, a, there's a video um, elsewhere, but I'll if you haven't already watched that to find out what that story was, by all means <coughs> check that out after after this. But um we'll just get into this. This is slightly angled of actually like sitting in a little lid um because of the way I've got this set up so that you can see it like full full like that. And I'm trying to counterweight but it's already <laughs> what it's attached to. So um <coughs> this is an Arteza sketchbook. Um, I can't remember all the information, but it is there. So, 200 pages, drawing book premium, and then it's, well, it's the A4 size, 8.5 by 11 inches, and then it's £8, 100 GSM. And I started it on the 23rd of July 2020 and finished it 27th of March this year. Um, <laughs> Um, starting this was not was not a, a a great time because it was literally like about an hour or two after Fergie had passed away, um, and all I wanted to do was just see him uh, and be happy. But um, I just was looking through his photos and I was just drawing references. So we'll start with the first page and the last drawn page because they are of him, um, but <laughs> the first set are a, a lot better because I was using references and um, I could actually see them properly. I mean, it's just pencil uh, drawings, but yeah, it's off, uh, off what was a him. But <laughs> when, the last, when I was finishing the sketchbook, well, it's just swatch pages. They're yeah, not so interesting. Um, <clears throat> but when I was finishing the sketchbook, this page, I was using references, but they weren't they weren't as good because it was really sunny and I couldn't see uh, the references or the actual page because it was so bright. Um, that's just from an old calendar I was just sticking in. So anyway, let's get into this. I was kind of blocked a lot, of, a lot of this, but I will show when it was kind of when I kind of evened off a wee bit. So this was like a sort of cartoon uh, comic page that I wanted to do and it was actually like about a couple of months before he actually passed away and uh, it says he's an old cat now and he's, I was standing with him in the kitchen and he was sitting like that <laughs> and then he ran out, out the back door to chase a butterfly. I was like almost 13 years old and he's just ran out the door chasing a butterfly. Um, but facing that. It's so funny. But that was just me trying to figure out how I wanted the panels like on this side. And that's some Posca pens for our landscapes. I hope this is still in focus and you can see it alright. That was another picture of <laughs> Fergie and Rufus. So Fergie's the one that's lying down. <clears throat> Rufus was sitting on the windowsill in the bedroom um, before I moved to my own house and, uh, and then he jumped onto the chest of drawers and decided that he was going to get comfy right next to Fergie and the look that Fergie gave Rufus just because he was sitting there was of utter sheer disgust as if how dare you and Rufus is just like nope I don't see you I'm still sitting here <laughs> It was so funny. Yeah, some diddles. This is Rufus. I was drawing that was with a purple twistable pen, pencil, crayon. The Crayola ones are twistable ones. I don't know what they are. I think they're part pencil, part crayon. And then there's some DTIYSs. Uh, Emily's Echo character. Don't really know what this character's called but I've done a few of the Amos challenges and I think there's another one or two of metallic frogs but I quite like the colour. 
No. Uh, they were multicolored Crayola Twistables that I was doing here. Well, not them, not those, but these ones and this. It was just that's another DTI. Or I should just say, draw this in your style. That's easier to say. There was a challenge to draw a cover, design a cover for a book, and I chose "Will you, Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs" by Caitlin Do Doughty. Doughty. <clears throat> it's a really interesting book if you've never read it. Definitely recommend it. And that's just the thumbnails. Small draw this in your styles. Some figure sketching. I like that one, that one, and that one. I don't know why. This sort of angely one. Three thumbnails. Dave's Burger Girl. That was fun to do. <laughs> Another Behemoth one. Yeah, Prim Draws have done another couple of hers as well. There's actually one in an A3 sketchbook. It was like I, I think it was her anyway. Um, and there's a metallic frog again. More draw this in your style. So this is me just trying to be interested in drawings. So I was kind of struggling me wanting to draw. I do like I did like this those page. This page I actually did that in September of that year that I started this. It was way in advance of maybe it was August actually. It was way in advance of Halloween, and I just wanted to draw Halloweeny stuff. She actually kind of looks like the OC character I've done is Lily. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> She, Lily was definitely done before that. Well, turns out I think that was 2019 childhood week, the in the latter part of the year. That was washi tape, and I just referenced it from Pinterest, I believe. That was from a sketchbook that I turned, well, a sketch pad, pad of paper even that I turned into a. Uh, Big A3 book, book found it. Pinterest references. I think that was for Prompt Squad. That was the Twistables again. Oh, this is a Cat Timber. Obviously, I have to start it with Fergie. And then the rest were all from like Pinterest or whatever, Google. Um, all the different. I never finished it though. I think I sketched them all out, but then never. And I used Posca pens. They were all done with Posca pens to colour them. I wish I'd kept up with them, but well, yeah, September. This by the Void Design, and then this is Inktober for twenty twenty, and I chose the Hallowtober list by Metallic Frogs. And I just used pen and I think it was actually maybe the Pentel colour brush or the Pentel pocket brush and some highlighters on post-it notes, cream post-it notes, it was fun. And I just stuck them in here to keep them all together. Bear gay, of course. <laughs> some people think I'm obsessed, but yeah, I don't mind that. I really like this one. I think this was my favourite. This monstrosity, my legs are so wrong now that I'm looking at this again. <laughs> I actually seen this this type of face, so it was more kind of like that than that angle. And it was actually in the swirl on the ceiling of my bedroom at the time while I was doing yoga and shavasana, sh shavasana, or corpse pose, whichever way you want to call it. And uh, I was just lying staring at the ceiling and I could see this sort of strange pumpkin face and I'm like, I'm going to draw that. More studies. This is washi tape as well. This is a Pro Marker pen but I did make a mess of her face which you'll be able to see on the other side. She looks like a clown but oh well. 
And these are the multicolour twistable pens again. They're quite fun to do figure studies. <coughs> I quite like this spread. It's quite dynamic. Child, I suppose. For yoga. <laughs> but yeah, I like the I like that one as well. I don't know why, but they're kind of chunkier figures. Um, they're kind of more fun to draw. I don't know why. But yeah. That was me trying to thumbnail for childhood week for 2020, which I never went through with. Or at least, uh, I can't remember. I know I didn't draw these into finished pieces anyway. <coughs> One line drawings, they're fun to do. If you can hear a kid in the background, it's my neighbour next door. Or my neighbour's grandson. They are the multi multiple colour twistable pens again. So I need to take a drink. And I like these ones. Just sketching anything. Some deer. This was for Prompt Squad to d design a snow globe, I think it was. <coughs> Obviously I used fair day. And then this part, this part and this part's all washy tape, but it's quite fun. And that, that, that and that is a pro marker. More cat sketching. This is getting near Christmas time I guess, but another one of Emily's draw this in your style. Um Pitch Kanker, I think that's how you spell their name say their name. Um, that one was really fun. That's washi tape again there. The rest is actually jelly gouache. For the first time I bought it off of Gem from the Colour the color Cave. And then that was using some of the stuff that was still left out on the palette. <coughs> quite, yes. quite like them. I was doing this page while watching Mary Doodles and sketching along with what she was sketching. As far as I can, yeah, doing along with Mary Doodles, sit and sketch, YouTube live stream, 10th of the 1st, 2021. And that I just decided to do myself because I have one of those prompt books and it was dot gridded. And I decided to take Posca pens and draw some plants on it, and I liked the effect of it. So I tried like a sort of similar page in here. Um, so I did put all those like pencil the lines in, and then dotted all the corners, and then rubbed all the lines out, <laughs> and then continued to draw. It was fun. Another one of Emily's draw this in your style. This is Prim, yep, Prim draws. It's only covered because the I used crayon of some sort and it kept transferring over, so that's why it's covered. Um, that was just a one hour one sketch, which I've actually done a redraw recently in that little diary, like doodle diary. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, right. <laughs> That was for when I was making a felt thing. That and a felt picture. All that. Oops. That was my counterweight. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't fall. Just draw my gel pen. Just random. This came in come into my head because my mum had been watching The Masked, the masked Singer, singer. i will try saying that too, ten times fast and I kept seeing a mask face in my head so I think it was that one I started with I can't remember but I quite like them it's kind of funky that and that's really creepy though I think that's really Pale this drawing, you can't really see it. 
some weird bug drawings on the cat. That was from something that Mira, Mira Byler did. And just give it a go. Can you really see it because of the lines? I really like that. That was reference from Pinterest. And a little sugar cube about to dive into the tea. And washi tapes. I actually had to glue like some of these ones down. Well, the ones for sure. They just want to stick. Some whales. Draw the oceans challenge. Greenpeace. I really like that one. I like the colour palette, the peach and the dark green. Which I want to do for my living room. <laughs> um, these were thumbnails for our little circus, but I ended up doing them with Lily and our little brother Zach or Jack. I can't remember his name. I've only drawn them at that point, <laughs> but I do like the the wizard cat. That's cool. Some rainbow aliens. This was just random stuff. Oh. That's my own drawing of that or that one. Then I traced it so I could colour it. And I, I did this because of Crafty Girl. She loves like the the little truck decor and our dog Loxie at the time wasn't doing so well at that point. <coughs> and until she, she she had to get put to sleep because she was um, riddled with cancer pool. So but yeah, and then I ended up doing quite a few of them. That's Rufus sleeping in my chair. And then that was the other ones. Quite a nice aesthetic, I think. And I didn't realise that. Just put my counterweight back in so it doesn't fall. And you can see this one properly, so I didn't realise it wasn't fully in, in the picture. Let me see if I can help. There's not much yet difference. Ah, well. I'll be fine. And this was the first time I tried art journaling. So that's Rufus Sleeping Away. And I was using that Create More Sketchbook from Scroller Box with Draw This In Your Styles only. Finished. I'll just leave it there if you can if you can read it. <laughs> Nothing interesting anyway. <laughs> and this is some Derwent uh, paint pens, which I've done the style life of. I quite like them. I cannot for the life of me get that, that girl's jaw properly. Her face, oh, I can't even lift it. Wasn't it right? <laughs> Some thumbnails for our planet week and then I was trying another um, art journaling thing. I don't like writing in sketchbooks, I'd rather just draw but this was a drawing of the first house I went for viewing um, with the possibility to buy. There was no chance I was getting this house, it was absolutely tiny and even though it was two bedrooms, the, the, the spare bedroom was like the size of my hallway, it was tiny. I was just like, no chance. And it was electric heating, which is what I've been told a lot more expensive than just regular, like central heating, gas central heating. <clears throat> this was supposed to be a, a, another attempted um, art journal on page, which is actually on my birthday. My mum had got me an afternoon tea. Um, like she got it made up and brought it back to the house and it was actually really nice. So that was like some of the cakes and <laughs> I put a face and a foot a face and a foot mask on. Uh, I'm not really into that and certainly not for the feet one because it just felt disgusting because it was all slimy in, in between the toes. I didn't like that but it was it was alright just to do it for a for a one off and just. Having a glue page, it seems, just gluing some plant stuff in. This was for Prompt Squad. 
I think it was for architecture. I can't remember the prompts. I really should just start writing them. Um, that's actually on Argyle Street, uh, where uh, Remnant Kings is. That's a really old drawing, that. <clears throat> Lily and her Easter basket. Oh. Um, Art of Troy's Drawn Challenge. Um, <clears throat> uh, funk Sona. Troy Funk Sona. Uh, so, like, you draw yourself as a... I don't know what they're called. The bubble head things. And I feel like that. Funny. I was trying to do like a pattern page on this, which you can't even see, but oh well. <laughs> I'm too like handed, I suppose. I think that was like a, a craze that was going about with the wee floating bear in the water. It was quite fun. That's the stamp I created, and that was like kind of the thumbnails for it. My dodgy frog in his legs. I knew there was something wrong with, with the legs and couldn't for the life of me for a while figure out how to fix the legs so that it looked like he was sitting and he was taking the dragonfly for a walk. And that's a scroller sketch for frog, so I was going for them and then that one was kind of fun, funky. So, And that was part of the paper art challenge that Dave had done on Dave's art book. Try to think where the actual paper art is. Hmm. Fairgate and Rufus. Rufus. Under a bush in the garden. <laughs> so this was inspired by a pigeon. And it was wood pigeons I'd seen in the back garden. And I thought they look like they should be wearing like sort of... Victorian outfit, like a, the waistcoat and the little monocle and the wee pocket watch and the, the top hat. So started off with Peterson Pigeon, then Robertson Robin and then Crowley Crow and then Humphrey Humminburg. I was actually thinking about these the other day so maybe there'll be more birds. I don't know but <laughs> it was quite funny. Try and angle this a wee bit up. No doubt it'll probably fall because I've moved it. And yes, that is sellotape. <laughs> That's a wee bit better. I know the angle's still crap, but I've got that much left to go. That's a redo of a, a draw this in your style for that little sketchbook I was filling up with. Yoga Guy, he was kind of fun. This one's a private joke. So, you know who you are if you're watching, you know what this means. <laughs> but it did start with that one, I believe. And then that was a one hour one sketch and that was with the graffiti tint. Derwent uh, palette, that was quite good. Drawing a door, another redraw of the Draw This In Your Style from that little book. Funky Pigeon. Not the website. <laughs> like this. And that was thumbnails for another prompt squad for illustrate a poem or a short story, I believe it was. And I chose Lamb to the Slaughter. By I can't remember the guy's name, but I read it in high school one time, and uh, and then I googled it, and then read it again. Oh, that's a finished piece. Some more of Fergie. That's the couch, although it's a lot paler than that, but it is looking lots of pleasant green for a couch. And that was the boxes that were out the hall in my old bedroom before I moved. Draw this in your style, I quite like. I quite like that wee bit. 
scroller sketch. I think this was something for Prompt Squad where he do our OC and I was just like, I don't know which one to draw. <laughs> so I've got Death Witch, Lily, Yoga Guy, Black Hood and Josephine. Just some studies, weird bugs and another Raymots Draw This In Your Challenge which I never finished. And another challenge which I didn't finish, but there's some more of Lily. I like this one the best. I think that was the prompt squad result for the Draw Your OC. And I used just felt tip pens. It was quite fun. Oh, I really should have just glued that in, but well, that was a... Uh, I think it's Neshi too, but yeah, I think a few of the Prompt Squad folk, Emily and Dave for sure, I'm not sure if anybody else from Prompt Squad's done it, but I've seen them do theirs, their version. This was for a drawing class that I went to, it was actually a beginner's class, but because I was still art blocked or not inspired or whatever. I just wanted to have something that would force me to draw something so it kind of helped um, and it was fun and the the person that hosted the, the class was really nice which I'm going to another class that she's doing alongside some yoga uh, next month which I am really excited about. That'll be fun to do. Um, then we ended up drawing a little monkey Ape, chimpanzee, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but at this point, I was kind of tired at that point, so I was just like, eh. And then this was Prompt God with Design um, Body Art, and I based this off of, <clears throat> excuse me, an outfit that I actually wore, but I don't have this as a tattoo. It was actually on a pair of. Um, like hold up tights, it was just a big Chinese dragon and it was just like um, shorts and like a wee waist coat and just plain black shoes. More of the little calendar cats, some drawn and then that's it at the back now so, oh and I forgot to mention these were stamps that I'd actually made but I hope you enjoyed this sketchbook tour, I am so happy this is finally done. I did not enjoy filling this sketchbook up. I wasn't really, nah, it just wasn't in the best for, uh, frame of mind for it, but I am in a lot smaller sketchbook. It's only A5 and the paper's really thin, but it's really white. And you'll have seen, if you follow me on Instagram, that I've been posting things for that. But um, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, let me know what you think. And until the next one, bye!